Hello everyone and welcome to the F1 Corner once again. It's a short vlog video to finally talk about the new contract of Lewis Hamilton who just signed with Mercedes. Doing this, yes, once again from home because it is minus 20 outside and there is also a curfew here in Montreal so I cannot go out as much as I would like to. So, new contract one-year deal with Mercedes for Lewis Hamilton. What does this mean for the driver? What does this mean for the team? What does this mean for the future of Formula One and other drivers? This, these are all topics that we will cover in the next few minutes. So first, the contract itself. One-year deal with Mercedes as number one driver, obviously. That also includes a clause to uh, promote uh, diversity among uh, Formula One people, among the team, and inclusion of minorities and everyone involved, you know, with all this anti racism movement and uh, everything that we talked about last year. On the long term, there is a clause about that in the contract. And it, it, shows also that uh, Hamilton is serious about the about these issues but also since it's a long-term commitment it's it means that even though even if uh, the contract does not extend beyond this year that there will be some commitment from Mercedes to keep um, working in those areas but I think the question now that everyone is uh, really eager to uh, talk about is why only a one-year deal? Why not a multi-year contract like we're used to see with Hamilton? Well, there are a few reasons and I think it highlights also um, the will of both the driver and the team. So, Lewis Hamilton is 36 years old meaning that he is somewhat getting close to his retirement of Formula 1. Not everyone is a Kimi Raikkonen who will race until they are 42, 43. That's not something that we will see from many drivers. It, so, one-year deal means for Hamilton first. It means that he got door opens for next year, whether he wants to stay with the team whether he wants to try something else, whether he wants to be involved in other ways with Mercedes or in other racing series. Does that mean that he does not want to stay with the team? But I think at this stage, especially with the pandemic and with the new regulations coming in 2022, I think that he wants to see, that both parties actually wants to see what's going to happen this year and then decide together once again what they do for next year. As for the team, it means for them that they also have plenty of options on the table. Um, like I said, they could uh, decide to extend the contract after that. They have this long-term commitment to uh, diversity and inclusion in Formula 1. But also, Having both drivers on a one-year contract, Valtteri Bottas also only got a one-year deal, means that for next year, if they want to, they could go on a full rookie lineup on uh, two new drivers. Because, like I mentioned, there are new regulations coming for 2022 in terms of how the car will be built, but also there are some very talented young drivers in the Mercedes family just waiting to graduate. Let's, you know, the, the obvious one is George Russell, who replaced Hamilton in uh, Bahrain last year when Hamilton was sick with COVID-19. And he performed incredibly well on his first outing with Mercedes. And we all know that George Russell is the next big Mercedes star um, and they would not want him to be snatched away by a Red Bull or a Ferrari uh, depending on what happens because George Russell's contract does end at also at the end of 2021 so after that all the doors are, are open you could stay at Williams you could go at Mercedes which is probably what everyone expects but 
Uh, it's only speculation at this point. Um, there's also Esteban Ocon. Uh, did not shine that bright in his return last year against Daniel Ricciardo, but got a chance to prove himself once again this year. He will be a teammate of Fernando Alonso with Alpine Renault. So Ocon, another Mercedes young driver, even though he's with the Renault work team. Um, who else? I mean, everyone at McLaren, they will be powered by the Mercedes uh, engine this year. So a guy like, again, Ricardo, though I don't think he would like to go at Mercedes, but who knows? Uh, Orlando Norris, also a very young, uh, good driver. And you know, to some extent, I think we can talk about Sergio Perez, who's going to be with Red Bull this year, but even though he's not super young, uh, approaching 30 years old, he was for a long time in that Racing Point slash Force India that was powered by the Mercedes engine. So, a lot of choice for Mercedes next year. It also means that if Hamilton decides to retire from Formula 1, they can decide to keep Valtteri Bottas as an experienced driver should they bring a young driver to the team and vice versa. If, they, if Hamilton wants to stay and the team wants to keep him but, they, but that they also want to bring a young driver, they will have the experienced Hamilton and young driver on the side and could just decide that Valtteri Bottas will not be their man for next year. Um, so, you know, these are all choices that the Mercedes team have and both parties, Hamilton and Toto Wolf, agree on that. Um, I think they both want to see what the future holds. And again, this is going to be a crazy season. 2021, we are still in the middle of the pandemic. This is far from being done. Races are being rescheduled or cancelled. Um, we're going once again to tracks that we don't usually go, like Imola already scheduled, uh, probably Portugal, China does not appear on the calendar anymore, Australia is now in November, and my doorbell ring. So I'm back, sorry for this interruption, I don't remember what I was talking about, but uh, as you heard, my doorbell rang, which is pretty weird at this time of day, it is uh, almost late night here. So, uh, well, I mean, I was pretty much done. Uh, that's it for Lewis's Hamilton contract and uh, we hope to see what's going to happen this year. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss anything about the Formula 1 world and I will see you once again pretty soon actually next week with the revealing of the new McLaren next Monday. Thank you everyone for watching and have a good day.